Hey guys, Mimsy Bell here. As you can see, I'm in the Stanley Parable, the full game this time. So I just played the demo and just finished downloading this. And that is friggin' awesome. <laughs> it's a game within a game within a game within a game. <laughs> so let's begin the game. Ooh. Click the This scale. is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ooh. Look at that clock. Okay. Anything I can... Hmm. I do, um, want to go ahead and say, because I know there's so many endings to this, the first time, I'm going to do everything that he says. The second time... I'm going to say fuck you and do everything that he doesn't. Do the opposite of what he says. And then all the other times it's just me going to be wandering around trying to find different options. So All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Uh Okay, I got stuck there. <laughs> this guy's job is to sit here and sharpen all the pencils. <laughs> huh. Oops, I didn't do that. Alright. Whoa. Can I go in any of these? I wonder. Okay, I, I, I don't need to do that because I said I was going to do exactly what he told me to do first. Turn off everyone's computer. Can I turn on their computer? Well, I can't even turn that one on if I wanted to. Nope, you can't turn it back on if you turn it off. Ah! Did I, did I close that? I guess so. Yeah, we're done in his office. Oh! I hate Mondays. Oops. Ooh, I'm not going there. Can I go in here? Of course not. When uh. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, like I said, so I guess next time we'll be going that way. Hmm. <laughs> I need to turn off your computer, sir. <sighs> of course not. Why would you let me? <laughs> All these times I'm going to go up to and open up the door. Ooh, tips on not getting fired. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office hoping he might find an answer there. 
<laughs> so it just comes full circle. He just lies to assure employees that everything is okay. Make your slide have a slick blue graphic in the header. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Everyone is unique. You must of all. Okay. Hmm. No. Number of slides on the slides. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I just still understand when it's the other slides. Whoa, oh, oh god. Oh god. Hmm. I'll have to pause and read some of this stuff later. Whoa. Let's see, work harder. Work harder, hard worker. <clears throat> Spare between the teenagers. What? <laughs> Throw something in the idea. That... Wow. Huh. I'm gonna look at all this stuff real quick. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Hey, that's me on my board manager. <laughs> that's my job today, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. I got all that shit to do. Hmm. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Right next day agenda. Oof. Wow. Hmm? Employee? None of me. Why is that blurred out? Or, oh, someone just erased it. Who <laughs> moved my desk? The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Get Chris out of the room closet. Is he still in there? Oh, yep, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll eventually find a room closet, maybe? Oh, it's back on that one now. Or did it just... Huh. Huh. I'm gonna go find a broom closet though. Whoa. A boat. Spring break, clear skin. <laughs> Travel, plant life, football. Alright, so wait. Yeah, that's the beginning. Alright. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I'm d okay, I thought I said let me get stuck on a chair. Oh, I'm going closet. Oh, there's a broom closet. Let me get inside here. Chris! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Where's Chris? Are you Chris? You're just a broom. Ha! Ah, a broom in the broom closet! There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Shit, I didn't think. Look, Chris is in here somewhere. I'm going to find him. Chris? Are you Chris? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. I'm trying to find Chris. They said Chris was in here. Are you... Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? They said Chris was Please in the broom closet. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. They said it was ongoing that Chris was still in the broom closet and we had to get him out. I was trying to help. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally <clears throat> this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. <laughs> I'm sorry, the whiteboard said it was ongoing investigation. <laughs> Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. 
Don't talk like that. Do I? Stanley Sorry. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Of course. Party all night long, dude. <laughs> well, I've come to a very different <clears throat> conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> okay. Are you going to say anything else if I stay in here for a little bit longer? Anything? Yes? No? That's funny. I feel like I failed. I can't find Chris. Let's play with the door. Okay. Chris? Ah, second I'm player. sorry. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee uh, you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of inverts. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look. You can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Anything else? Wow, it really sounds really different in there. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. I didn't think you'd do anything else. Can I go and back in here? Oh, that's hilarious. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs? Okay, well, I guess I'm going upstairs next time. Oh, I'm definitely going downstairs. <laughs> I say, screw you, going downstairs. Okay. Ooh, pee. What's that? I gotta go pee! I gotta pee, let me in! Oh, wow. If you're gonna do the wall color like that, at least make the ceiling like black or something. Hey, can I come on your computer? Just don't mind me, invisible woman. Guess I gotta go in the office. Yeah, <laughs> she's so good, she got two phones. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Uh. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh wow. Can, can, I'm thirsty, can I have some? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Close okay, so there's a. Is there anything in here? Oh! No? 
Oh, there should have been something like secret in there. I just, I was just walking back like that just so I could see the light. No, I'm not. Still walking forward. Oh wow! Mind the gap. Oh shit! <laughs> I thought it was like gonna start just falling straight down. I mean, it was going down, but I mean, it, I thought it was just pretty much gonna drop. Oh lord. Okay. Gonna come back now. So I wonder where we're going now. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I don't know if I want to leave. I feel like something's going to jump out and just like kill me. Oh shit. Okay, I'm going away from that then. <laughs> okay. Oh Stanley God. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Um... All right, hold on. I, I gotta, I gotta call this real quick. So, you know, give me a second. All right, hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, didn't work. Skip it. Um, God, that is like so freaking tempting. All right, so I guess next time we'll go all the way here, and then we'll go that way. Next time. Hmm. God is so fucking tempting. So we're going into the mind control facility. Ooh. Hi! You watching me? You son of a bitch. Okay then. Hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. I like when I, when I moved over it, I moved my head too. Like I was gonna see over it. Oh god. What the fuck? Okay. Whoa. I guess I'll press the only. Mm. I'll press the only button here. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television oh, screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Place. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here waiting for them to turn on. That's the opening over there. Can I sit the knees first? Nope. Okay. Oh, now shit. the monitors fired. Come to life, their true nature revealed. Um, Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Where the am I? Of so many oh wow, fired is all red. Images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, <gasps> eternally shit. monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Is it gonna like show the numbers again? A lot of fucking people. Doesn't he 227? Right there? Oh, wow, it's showing the firing cabinets. If that really is him, I think it's him. Oh god, I've already forgotten what plane over he was, but I think it was this mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh, another fire. Good oh, lord. Huh. Oh, I guess I should go up here. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's oh, control. Lord, going fast. Never. It was unthinkable, Shh. wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I'm blind. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. 
Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. This is so fucking tempting. I guess I have to come back all the way to here again because I want to go push that button. <laughs> it's so fucking tempting to push it right now. <gasps> oh shit. More buttons. Oh god. Oh my god, all the buttons. <laughs> what? Oh. I feel like I'm playing a game. Like. A little button game. Okay, I'm definitely coming back here because I'm gonna go push all those buttons. All the buttons. All the buttons. But first, like I said, oh. Oh. Oh god. They really are trying to kill me. Look at all these buttons. I'm coming back here. I'm pushing all these fucking buttons. I don't care who says what. Well, apparently, I'm supposed to go here first. Oh god, there's yes and no. I am definitely off and on. Oh, god, I'm an idiot. Definitely have to come back here and decide which and to push next. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So, <sighs> next time I'll come here and push that button. God, like I said, there are so many endings. I'm not good with decisions sometimes. Okay, turn it off first. Oh shit, it got dark. <laughs> so turn it off first and then come back. And I'm gonna turn it back on next. <laughs> I have issues. That blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I... Yes! Ooh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's so pretty. Oh, do I really want to step through the open door? Oh. Stanley felt the cool okay. breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Wow, I didn't even get to control that last part. He just walked down on his own that time. Beat the game. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, so that was the ending if you just follow every little thing he says. <sighs> Oh, okay, so it just starts over. Alright, so, you know, I don't even know how long I've been playing this part. So I guess I'll just go ahead and end this here, and then I will go and see what the, do the other endings. Um, I think right after this, or no, I think I might go and, um, go to the part where you escape. So, you know what? I think I will do this right now. If it's longer, then I guess it's longer. So, I'm going to go see what happens. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Oh, fuck. I just want to get to the part where you can either escape or... <laughs> I guess I pissed him off. Feeling soothed All right, so... and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Didn't think I was gonna piss him off, but I guess I did. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry, narrator. <laughs> I'm surprised I remembered what the thing was. Oh, so he's not even gonna talk now. Okay, he's like, you know what, just fuck you. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, I really am gonna go push those buttons first. And next time I'll go through the escape. I wanna go push the buttons first. If you can't tell, I like buttons. Just push the buttons. The lights rose that. on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place oh, look hold? Look, look, Stanley look thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Maybe. I had the strength to push buttons. That's what I have. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, mm -hmm. one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I wish I could read what that said. Alright, so that's up. Now I'm going to go on an elevator. And I'm going to push so many buttons. Watch it not do a single thing different. This mind control facility, it was too a horrible even to on believe there. it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really okay. been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only Maybe. reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Come on, what was that? One of them's in a stairwell. Ah, ha, 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 that one works in a stairwell. Alright. Let's go! No. He I got buttons to push. To he couldn't accept it. His own life Ooh. in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Uh, was it even possible? Nope. Had he truly yep. spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I'm push trying to push them in order. I think five's over there. Four, and then five's over there. I may have to come back here a couple more times to know. Then you know you can push the um the on button instead of the off. Oh no 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 no! Five first, five first, five. And then can I push the big red button? Maybe. What? No! No! Let me push it. Let me push it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um. They're like a. What's this? How did I miss this? How the, f How the fuck did I miss that? Does it take me through. Hmm. Am I missing a button? I'm thinking, yeah. 
There's three. I hit three. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think I am. You know what? Let's go hit the on button. That's what I'm going to go hit. We could run. You just crouch. Darling. And when at last he found the source of the room. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. Fuck yeah! I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that Good. the machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. Okay, you're so I was right. Anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, then. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Not really, I'm just pushing buttons Stanley. now because I feel like it. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Yeah, I go peacefully then. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. There we go. <laughs> okay, well, guys, there's that ending. I wonder if we actually can stop it. I don't know if we can. Uh, 
I guess I'll play her out with it later and see. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. You know what? Mm. Can I push buttons? Mm. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and end it here since that was such a good ending. Um, next time we're going to go see what happens if we escape. We run free, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.